So listen, I want the world to know that Billboard is a lie. You can buy number ones on Billboard. I want that to register in your head. You can buy number ones on Billboard. With all eyes on 6 ix 9 Will, he decided to take to his massively popular Instagram account to call out big media corporation Billboard charts. He then exposed them on what he believes to be an inside job, stopping his recent track Gooba from hitting the number one spot. Last Thursday, Ariana was stuck with you, submitted 60,000 units last second. With the investigation, we found this. They purchased Half of those things were six credit cards. When we asked where was those six credit cards linked to, Billboard said we can't disclose that information. It was call out, it didn't go unnoticed. He's since gotten a reply not only from Billboard alone, but from Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. Now 6 9 he pushed even harder going directly after Ariana, where he called her out on her past versus his own. It was essentially like a Before They Are Famous versus video. I speak for the millions of kids that come from nothing, right? Let me show you something. For all of this, we come from some place, right? This is where I came from before all of this fame. This is actually my home where me, my mom, my brother, his girlfriend, my girlfriend, and my daughter lived. Now the caption, it read, I speak for the millions of kids who aren't as fortunate as you, the millions who weren't fortunate to be on TV. Life is real when you're on welfare. Life is real when you grow up without a father. You don't know what that is like. You say for me to be humble, I don't think you know what humble is. You are very talented and beautiful, God bless you, but you will never understand my pain. Ouch! He's really going after her on something she can't contest. Now we got Justin Bieber's reply as well as her own and Billboard, and then I'll be coming up in just a second. Now this is a short video in the famous news category. Now things, they've been moving so quickly that I've actually gone and hired a new editor. A second one. So we'll be bringing you more videos like this, short, sweet news updates because you guys seem to be eating them up. My name is Mike McCrudden. You already know that. Be sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter at McCruddenM. All right, now let's get into this video. I have no idea. I'm in the hospital. You lie so much to send the location. I'm number one. All right, right out the gate, I gotta be honest with you guys. I haven't actually heard Justin and Ariana's track stuck with you. But it does seem strange to me that Gooba, it feels like it was pushed back from reaching its full height of success. It's also strange that his track Fefe or Fifi opposite Nicki Minaj, it actually never went to number one. It peaked at number three on the Billboard chart and it was like the song heard everywhere. I believe at that time, God's Plan, it was also on the charts and it hit number uno. Now besides all that, we gotta give Justin and Ariana the benefit of the doubt. So let's hear what these two pop stars had to say. Huh? Yeah. Now in an Instagram story, Justin Bieber, he wrote this. He says his streams don't count. Yes, they do, but he's counting his global streams and this is a domestic chart, so only domestic streams count. 6,000 units came because we don't disclose our numbers until end of the week. That's called strategy. He said 30K was bought with six different credit cards, but that is a lie. The rules are clear. One credit card can buy max four copies. Anything over that entire amount gets thrown out. Nelson Company checks this and found out all our sales were legit because our fans are amazing and bought them. Don't discredit our fan base with false info. This is my song with Ariana Grande and I am honored to work with her to help raise money for a great cause. If you're gonna say her name, make sure you say mine because it's our song. Now Justin has a point asking to be called out just like Ariana. Now he grew up with very little, his dad wasn't nececarily in the picture, and just like 6 ix 9 well he utilized YouTube and the internet to get himself to the top. Now Ariana, her reply, it was a little less direct. So many of my favorite songs of mine and of other people's don't even, no one even knows who, what they are, what they are. They never won any Grammys, they never charted, you know, it's all exciting and it is very exciting when it does happen, we can celebrate if and when it does happen. But I just, again, I have to bring this up because it happens every time and I don't, and it does take a little bit of the joy out of it for me. <laughs> She's just like, I don't, I don't even want to be in the same room as this kid. I ain't gonna, I ain't even gonna say his name. Now as for Billboard, well, they not only removed 6 9s from their website, like if you look him up under chart history, he don't exist. He hasn't for a long time, but now you're getting like an error page. They also released an article titled how Billboard came to its calculation in this week's race for the Hot 100 number one. Now it's a long and detailed article, but essentially they said Billboard, well it counts only US based plays for its charts. It also considers YouTube views as global plays. 
Now overall stuck on you, it drew 28.1 million US streams, 26.3 million of radio airplay audience, and 108,000 sold in the tracking week. Now Gooba, it had 55.3 million US streams, 172,000 in radio airplay, and an audience of 24,000 that actually bought the track. So for them, well, I guess they're saying that when they did their math the way that they do, well, their, their, their math ain't wrong. But I guess when you are the one making the rules, it's kind of hard to be wrong. If more people actually bought Gooba rather than just streaming it, well, 6 ix 9 be sitting in a much different position. Yeah, makes sense? Right, okay. Now bravo to 6 9 for having the balls to call out the BS when he sees it. I gotta commend him for that. Now typically we would make this video like a comparison or get into a versus, but I can't really take 6 9 and compare him to Billboard. And if I were to compare him to Justin Bieber or Ariana Grande, the guy would get smoked. He gets smoked in net worth, he gets smoked in social media following, he gets smoked in awards won or Billboard charts. So there's just really not much I can do. I could do it in the future, but for now, let's just leave this as a news story and uh, short and sweet. All right, see you guys in another video.